So this video is going to show you exactly how to set up the electronic fence through walking it. The nice thing is I have two cameras today so you can actually see what I do. I'm going to go ahead and plot it out out in the backyard so you can see how I set this up. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully accomplish exactly what it is that you need so that it's easier to follow along. A way to look at how to set up your wireless GPS fence through walking your boundary. Okay, so here is my Halo app. And what you're looking for is find and manage fences. If this is not highlighted, you need to choose your pet and it will show up. And if I slide up, I'm going to click add a fence. Now I can do this one of two ways. I can either just start clicking around the house. until I make an actual shape and you will see her boundary be set and it will tell you kind of where her safe zone is versus where she's going to get a warning and of course I can label this click done but really I don't want that fence the second way I can create a fence, and you're going to notice, by the way, her E is reading with an exclamation point because she's actually outside of her fence boundary because there's a fence line around the neighbor's yard across the street. But she doesn't have a fence here, so it's reading as if she's out of boundary and that I need to go find her. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set a GPS boundary for her by clicking Find a Manage Pet and I'm gonna click Find and Manage Fences. I'm gonna click Add Fence. And if you look, there are two icons here. One is the collar icon, the other is kind of more of a map icon. You can actually search for your home up here, but just so you know, map box is not always accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask for me to look for my nearby collar, which I happen to have right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and click that and tell it to find the collar. Okay, I can tell it to stop the sound. You'll notice that the sound actually increases until you've actually found the collar. Click done. So now what I want to do is physically walk out of the house, go to the location of my start point, and then continue to set my boundary. One other note, I'm just gonna slide this out, okay? I want my dog to be able to travel in between our area right here and right here. Now, it's not necessarily recommended to go through things or to be too close to structures, but I can tell you when I post this, I actually have a starting point right back here at my neighbor's house, I actually go through the pool, I put a post there, on the other side, I go all the way around, I actually cut right through this house over here and all the way around because of that gap that they're going to give me um, for the warning. And I want her to have as much space as possible. Here's Vivi's collar. We're going to walk on to the outside. As I said, I'm going to start at my neighbor's house. I'm going to actually cut through their backyard because I know where the boundary is going to go. And I'm going to hit a post every single time. So I'm hoping to film this and capture it correctly for you. Okay, here we go. So if you notice, I have the collar in hand. And I'm going to go ahead and click this link. Looking for nearby collars. Okay, now I'm going to click where it says add GPS. Okay, so now I'm all set. I'm in the place that I want to be and you can see my map box is off just a little bit, but I'm going to click add GPS, which is down at the bottom by the delete button. I'm going to walk to the other side of this. Now for the record, I'm on the other side of the pool now and I'm going to click add GPS again. And you can see by clicking that it now is drawn a line. I'm going to do a little more. I like to go outside of our garden area 
and we'll click add GPS. This is what I call the poison ivy patch. And I'm going to click add GPS again. Now you might be afraid to go around structures. Um, and they might interfere. You're going to get slight interference anytime you have overhead. I'm going to keep going. Click to add GPS. Now if you look at my map, actually it's a little bit off. I'm going to make that adjustment whenever I go back in. And I can actually shoot a huge line all the way to the front of my building. Now our neighbors have a dog on an invisible fence. Um, and I try and be really respectful of their boundary. One nice thing is this doesn't interfere with anything that's buried underneath in the ground. I'm going to come on over to my apple tree. Add GPS. Look at my big garbage heap. Add GPS. Now I'm actually on the other side of the house now. And I'm going to click Add GPS. And now I'm going to finish up the line to close the fence. Oh, yes. And see, that's the other dog next door. And there we go. So now my fence is enclosed. Now I've got this weird little shape, not a big deal. Damn, my feet are wet. It's been raining out. Hold on, baby. So where we have this little weird thing, uh, I'm gonna actually hit next. You can actually see my boundary. I'm gonna go ahead and save it as is. So this is home. And click done. But I still need to make this adjustment. So I'm going to edit the fence post and just drag this by touching it. And it will drag. And I can even drag this just out just a little bit. Just takes a little bit of practice. Oop! Oh, that's a little weird line. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now, if you look, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 fence posts. I could have had up to 20, but now I've got a pretty good, good circumference around my house. I'm going to click Next, and I'm done. Okay, so now that I'm actually done with this collar, I actually like to come into my own physical setting. Uh, I just feel like for some reason I've had better luck being inside. It gets connected to the wireless uh, and the Bluetooth seems to just kind of work better. That map actually updates and stores in this collar. Now, what that means is, let's say, and I actually have an example of this on my YouTube, uh, we lose power. This map is actually stored on the collar, so as long as I can charge the collar, it will respect the boundary that I just set. Make sure you take these steps after you've set your collar, is let your collar sit for a little bit just to make sure that it's getting all the updates that it needs for its GPS. They say you don't need to do it, they say that it's instantaneous, but I have experienced sometimes just a little bit of a delay. Uh, it could have been satellites, it could have been a number of things. What I recommend doing is just wait like five or 10 minutes and then go test out your fence by actually walking this to your fence line that you set up. The nice thing about doing it this way is that it's actually picking up your physical location based on where you walk through. The other thing is if you're getting some inconsistencies, you can also edit some fence details kind of like you saw me in the video just by touching a point and pulling or dragging it out as you need to. Um, so this does take just a little bit of playing with, but once it's set, you're in really good shape. 
Also, anytime I've cleared out a collar and reset a new boundary, I just let anybody know, just in case it, it behaves a little bit inconsistently as to what they're used to, and they know if it does behave in uh, a manner that's just not expected, we just take the collar off and we do some testing and reset it. Anyways, I hope this video was more useful for you and that it gave you a chance to actually see me physically go through the app. It helps to actually see that. Um, and it's hard to show whenever I do a screen recording of what my app looks like versus where I'm touching. Um, so I apologize that that video isn't as strong as it could be, but instructionally, I hope this was more helpful for you. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Be sure to use my links below. That helps to support my channel. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.